So what have we learned? I had to summarize it in a couple of minutes. Like what have we, what were the lessons learned of literally five administrations of dealing with varying degrees of severity of outbreaks? The first, we need better surveillance and we have a global health security network that we've started that hopefully will get us to see things that happen before they become a pandemic. Remember, a pandemic is an outbreak before it becomes an epidemic, before it becomes a pandemic. And I think that's what we're gonna deep dive in. How do you prevent that transition? For example, the surveillance of a child recognizing that a child in Guinea got infected in December of 2013, and we didn't know that we were having an Ebola outbreak until March and April of 2014. Surveillance in the southwest part of the country with the swine flu of 2009, we could have done much better to prepare. The other thing is transparency and communication. The Chinese knew back in 2003 that this respiratory infection was not influenza. However, they didn't communicate it. They've done much better since then, but had we known we were dealing with a brand new coronavirus infection, we may have been better prepared. Infrastructure and capacity building. When we went into Liberia, what we did is we created an infrastructure so that they will be able to respond to the next epidemic. The infrastructure that is associated with PEPFAR is now preventing countries from actually getting a pandemic. In addition, there needs to be coordination and collaboration, and there needs to be the development of platform technology. It is very difficult to be chasing after possible pandemics as opposed to having in place the technology like vaccine platforms that can be easily adaptable. Okay, finally, what is next? We don't know. They asked me, somebody raised their hand, I won't tell you who it was. So what is the next one that we're gonna have? That's the whole point, you can't predict it. Is it yellow fever in Brazil that's now gonna get into the 80s Egyptians mosquitoes and work its way up to other areas in the south, namely the Caribbean and Puerto Rico? We don't know. Are we gonna have a Zika return? Is the H7N9 pre-pandemic gonna turn into an explosion? It's a big unknown, but the one thing that we can be sure of, that we will continue to have emerging and re-emerging infections. It's our job to prevent them from becoming pandemics, and hopefully we'll be able to deep dive into that over the next period of time. Thanks.